Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I did this turquoise nail design with water marble. I certainly do not water marble on a regular basis and you're going to see why. The supplies I used are listed below and are pictured here. I also used a little cup with water and we're going to jump right in. So I did my thumb first and then my index finger. They both turned out great so I thought, you know what, I'm going to film this after all. So I'm using some liquid nail tape here on my finger. You can see that purple stuff and that really helps me with my cleanup. I'm hooked on this stuff. I'll include a link below to where I got mine. And there's lots of other options. You can use tape or glue, whatever works best for you. So I've got my little shot glass here and I'm applying some black polish. And this is where it all goes wrong. This worked so well on my first two nails. And as soon as I started to film, of course, the bright lights are drying the polish really quickly. Not a good combo. I don't know how people who do water marble on YouTube are able to film without it drying out, but anyway not working for me. I probably did this four or five times. I spray it with my hairspray to give it the bubble look and just not going the way I wanted. At this point I was so frustrated I said I'm dipping my finger anyway, which is what I did, and I ended up with way more polish than I wanted on my nail. But that's okay. I'm going to show you this tutorial and the reason why I'm showing it to you. You'll see I dipped my finger again and got even more black on there. I wanted to show you not to give up. I could have taken and cleaned off my finger at that point and given up on this design. I was so frustrated, but I decided after dropping all that polish in the water, I needed to get a design out of this to make it worthwhile. Otherwise, I would have felt like I wasted all of my polish and I was already at the bottom of a bottle. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding first some gold with a makeup wedge and then I'm adding in more of the green base color just to soften up where there's too much black. And by doing that, I ended up loving the end outcome of this design. So once everything was said and done and dry, I applied a great top coat. Of course, I use Glossy Glam pretty much any time I do my nails, and I'll include a link below to that as well. And you can see here the final look. It just was so pretty. I loved it in the end. Um, if you recreate this one, please hashtag Christabel Nails if you're inspired by me. I love seeing your recreations. And of course, comments, thumbs up, and new subscribers are always appreciated.